Good morning, everyone. I am back in LA. Um, I'm waiting right now. We're about to go get new tires for my car. Unfortunately, you know when your parents tell you to keep rotating your tires or else you'll have to get new ones? I thought that I was doing it enough, but uh, no. So I'm starting off my New Year strong by going to spend hundreds of dollars on new tires, but it's fine. We're going to go do that. While we're waiting for the new tires, I think we're going to go to Starbucks and read. Um, I have my new, well, this isn't new, my iPad Pro. And then for Christmas, I asked for the actual, like, Apple keyboard thing, and it's changed the game. Amazing. And then, um, just my, like, Bible and my, what brand is this? Moleskin, right? A Moleskin little notebook. They match, pretty much. But it's really cold right now. I need to do some returns and stuff today. Hopefully I'll go grocery shopping and get my eyebrows done. I need to do all my laundry. Basically today is like a prep for 2020 day. I'm getting back into my routine. Also, this week, I think I might completely reorganize and clean my entire house and closets and all of that. Comment down below if you guys want to see me film that. Um, I'm not really looking forward to it, but I feel like that will get me motivated to do it. So, yeah, I'm really excited for today. Um, I'm freezing right now, and I'm waiting. Um, Quentin, I know he's been in every single vlog lately, guys. Um, it's because we were together for two weeks straight, but I honestly hate doing car stuff without a guy because girls get taken advantage of like so easily um because they think you know nothing and while i personally don't know much um there are girls who do know what they're talking about so yeah anyways i'm freezing i need to go i really just want to go to starbucks and read it's only like 7 a.m right now um we wanted to get there when they opened so there wasn't a lie so yeah if you guys are new here subscribe okay All right, guys, so I'm going to get my eyebrows done because that needs to be done. But listening to podcasts, uh, called some friends, read a ton, it's like 10.30. Um, so I'm gonna get my eyebrows waxed and then when I get home, I'm gonna show you guys all of the packages I got when I was gone and get to cleaning. Um, I think I have plans with Morgan later, so she's gonna come over at some point. I'm getting new tires, which is not exciting, but uh, yeah. Okay guys, we're back. I'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing for you. Um, my table's a mess because I just actually unboxed everything, but this is from Pressed Juicery, which is so cute. They gave me this little, I like it's a bag for juice, but almost like a little lunchbox. I literally hate this table, but um, yeah, they gave me this cute little Pressed Juicery thing and then a code for three days of like a juice cleanse. I'm not gonna do like a cleanse cleanse, but I would just love the juices. So, love press juicery. Those are like some of my favorite juices. Um, also, I got this book, honestly, just because I love the branding of it. And like, I don't know, it's just a cool book. It's just a really cool book. And I'm just kind of like doing some research on some stuff and like books and branding and all that stuff. But yeah, that's why I got this book. The branding is just like impeccable. Um, then I got this little pajama set, which is super cute. It's like legitimately the softest thing I've ever ever felt it's from cozy earth I know I have a code for 50% off which is Kinsey 50 guys if you like matching pajama sets like literally this is the softest set I've ever felt in my entire life 10 out of 10 would recommend like I cannot wait to wear this every single day then Garnier sent me a little Christmas gift thing um for after our little spa thing that I did so they gave me this bag it's oh gosh so these little brew pockets, um, but it's, oh my gosh, wait, that's so cool. So they're like big tea bags, but for the bath, whoa, wait a second. Okay, that is very cool. I don't have a great bathtub here, but I will for sure be taking these like next time I go to Texas or something because that's amazing. Um, some nice little scrunchies, which you guys know I love. A beautiful candle, a dipstick candle, and then this little headband for the spa for your, like, whenever you cleanse your face, which is amazing. Lip Addict also, well, the Mayfair group sent me this, which I'm really excited for. I've heard that these are the best things ever. I've also heard nothing but amazing stuff about the Lash Addict from So Addicted, so I'm really excited to, um, try this out, basically. I think you just put it on your lashes every night and then it grows them. I have a package from Derma E, some skincare, which is very exciting. Guys, the most exciting of all of them, though, 
is this little Dior bag, which is so freaking beautiful. So there's this new Instagram that I love, Dreaming of Designer. You guys can see it right there. Basically, it's just like vintage designer at very, very good prices. So like literally so obsessed streaming of designer guys check them out i'm so obsessed like i came home and i was like oh my gosh i've wanted a dior saddlebag for forever and this one is just like so cute it's so small and cute like my phone keys wallet film camera oh my gosh i'm so obsessed with it so that was so kind of them they did not have to do that and i love it so I will have their Instagram link down below. They're just literally the best. You guys know that I love Passion Planner and I love the CEO. I had her on my podcast and she gave me like a little Christmas gift and wrote this really kind note. And then she gave me two new Passion Planners, which are in these beautiful colors and I'm so obsessed with them. I also got the Passion Planner daily. I bought that myself. So I'm really, really excited for that. Um, if you guys want me to do giveaways with Passion Planners and stuff, because I always have extra, um, let me know because I would love to do that or if you guys want more planning videos for my passion planner Then I also have passion planner says so Kenzie And it, sorry guys, I got a call. Um, but I'm back <laughs> Um, it's really cute because they have my name on the box and I just freaking love passion planner I'm literally loyal to them for the rest of my life. Um, and then I got another package from way I actually think I already got this package, but they're now available in Ulta so I think that they just sent out some more product, which is very, very exciting. I love way, the way, way. I don't know how to say it. Like, do you say it with the or whatever? I haven't tried this and I really want to. I kind of am skeptical of hair oil because I feel like no matter what I do, it makes my hair really oily and like kind of stringy almost. I don't know. I want to try it out though. Um, this wave spray is very exciting. But yeah, this is what I got while I was out of town. Very, very exciting. All right, guys, I've been cleaning, doing dishes, laundry, all of that, but I'm taking my new purse and I'm walking for lunch because I haven't been able to go grocery shopping yet because my car, you know, is getting new tires right now. So I'm gonna grab lunch. Hopefully that'll be ready soon and I can go grocery shopping, but got some cleaning done, feeling good. Made it to Tahunga, going to Aroma, one of my favorite places. The line is so awful. Maybe we should go somewhere else. So we opted for a place on the street because that line was so bad. We got this amazing like kale strawberry salad. This is the kind of salad that I want to be making. Looks so good. Also, and we also got a pizza. This is just part of it. But um, I'm posting some polls on Instagram right now to see what you guys want to see. So if you guys don't follow my Instagram, you should. But I think I'm going to start doing some passion planner giveaways and just like more planned with me videos, especially this month. So follow me on Instagram so you guys can be a part. We got spicy buffalo pizza. It looks amazing. I'm not even a huge pizza person, but this pizza looks really good. Wow. Oh, okay, so, so now, <gasps> okay, so now we are walking home. Okay, so I've been unpacking pretty much all day. I have all of my stuff out. Um, yeah, I need to like do long, I'm in the middle of doing like 14 loads of laundry. Also guys, I know I've mentioned this vlog and it's just been all over because I've just had it on me. This vlog, this book. Um, but it is so good. I will link it down below or add it to my Amazon shop page. I'm trying to read more like fiction books this year because I feel like everything I read is like self-help. So let me know if any of you guys have read it. I think it's really good. Okay, so it's looking better. I have this suitcase pretty much unpacked. The other one is in the laundry room because I'm doing all of that laundry. But I'm going to go through and clean out my entire closet this week. So pretty much everything's gonna go, which is exciting. It's 5 p.m. Um, and I got my new tires. Not a fun way to start your new year, but very responsible. Here we are. We just hung out with Morgan, but I didn't vlog any of that. We just hung out with Morgan. I didn't vlog that. We're about to go grocery shopping. I'm about to go grocery shopping. Really great. All right, guys. Back to Trader Joe's we go. We've been back for less. I've been back for less than 24 hours. I've already made it. Oh my gosh, that's the first time I've ever seen someone in that parking enforcement booth. Um, best place ever so we are all by we i mean pretty much every single person in my life doing the daniel fast starting monday so if you guys don't know what the daniel fast is basically vegan no sugar some people don't do coffee i do coffee um if you guys have ever done it let me know i've we've done it like multiple years now but 
Um, yeah, this my next three weeks will be like Daniel Fast Friendly approved meals. Just got so much food. All right, so here is what I have. I will very quickly go through it. Um, this is not everything, obviously. Like, it's I don't know. I don't want a bunch of hate comments down below. But if you guys have done the Daniel Fast, let me know what you guys eat. Also, um, as far as what you do for protein on this fast. Obviously, I'm gonna go need to go back to the store. This is just like the basics that I know I'm gonna need and then I'll go back and grab some more stuff. Um, I'm also gonna be juicing with my new juicer. I have a video coming out with that um, very soon. I think next week actually. But I'm gonna go back to my hot lemon water, which is one of the most, the best things I've ever did for myself. I have pineapple, some shredded carrots for a recipe I used to make all the time, avocados, organics. Oh, this is not actually organic. Okay, organic spaghetti sauce. Also, if you guys are Daniel Fast people and super like legalistic with it, just know I'm not. Like if something slightly has sugar in it or slightly has something, like I try my best, but like it's I'm not like very legalistic with it. So whatever. Anyways, blah blah blah. Okay, hummus, bananas. Um, I just got some jasmine rice, carrots, pears, brown rice pasta, coffee. I do drink coffee, just black, honey crisp apples. Got some rice cakes, carrots, celery, a lot of broccoli. They don't just have broccoli at my whole or whole foods at my Trader Joe's ever anymore. So I have the like blend. My favorite seasoning that I always cook vegetables with. I have some great sesame oil that's so good. Um, I think I sell sweet potatoes already. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll show you guys some meals and stuff in upcoming vlogs. But if you guys have any good meals, let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know if you guys are doing the fast and if you guys would want to see stuff on like Instagram stories or if anything would be helpful. Okay, so I have all these clean clothes that I just threw in my suitcase to bring back to my room. My laundry room is so far from my room in my house. But yeah, I'm going to put all this away and feel so accomplished. Okay, I'm about to go shower and then put these pajamas on. It's currently like 7 p.m. I need to shower, self-tan, do that whole thing, feel very, a lot more put together, basically. Um, so, I'm feeling good. I just like need to upload some videos and get some work done. I just looked up my Google Calendar for the week and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a lot going on. So, here we are. Okay, so I just put on my pajamas. This set is from Victoria's Secret, wearing my Ugg slippers. I heated up some pizza. This is a crazy Saturday night in. I'm gonna do some computer work and eat my pizza. I can't watch you because I'm watching it with Quentin and if I watch it without him, he'll be very upset. So I'm really upset because I'm actually obsessed with that show. Wow, I should not be a waitress ever. This is trash. Okay guys, it's 10.30. I was just doing some work on my laptop and then I hung out with my roommates. We just talked for like the past two hours. We were literally talking about cheer labs. If you guys remember, cheer labs, let me know. And I want to do an episode when I go back to Texas because they all live like within a two mile radius of my hometown. Like cheer labs, where are they now? And do a round table with like three or four of them because that sounds very fun. If you guys know what I'm talking about, like, you have to know. Like, if you, it's just, it was such a big thing. Anyways, we were all just, like, we remembered these names that we literally hadn't thought about in, like, 10 years. It was just, like, really funny. So, now I want to do that. But, um, I have self-tanner on. That's probably why I look a little bit crazy. I use the Isle of Paradise self-tanner. But, I just got my video ready for tomorrow. And did some work. And now I'm back in LA. Um, but, also, I don't think I mentioned this, but Coco is in Texas for the month. Because I have to go back early February anyway. So, it was a lot of flying for her. And there was stuff going on with the house. I was going to be out of town. And it was, like, a little bit unsafe for her to be here. Actually, it was pretty unsafe for her to be here. Because they have to do a bunch of, like, animal stuff. And it's such a long story. It was unsafe for her to be here. And I'm going to have her go to, like, a training camp while she's in Texas with my family and everyone. And then I'll have her back. But, like, literally, I've not had her for, like, one day. And I'm already just, like, wow. I really miss her. I didn't think it would be this bad. But... That is that. Um, it feels really weird not having her with me, but she is safer in Texas, unfortunately. It was a very selfless decision of mine because it was really heartbreaking for me, but I'm gonna go to bed. Love you guys so much. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, bye.